So we get two different situations. The one is where you have, let's say, 3 over square root 5. Now the problem with that is that the square root of 5 is not a rational number. Okay? So we can rationalize on some, on some say, on small boer in honor met what we call the irrationale getal is. So in this case, the irrational number is 5. How do I identify this is what I'm going to do? I can immediately see that there's only one term in the denominator. So I is like a mark like easy peasy lemon squeezy. 3 wortel 5 where 5. Now you have to check, can that be simplified further? No, it can't. So you're done. Okay. Rationalizing the squares. No, the denominator. The other situation that we get is when we have two terms in the denominator. Then you have to multiply it by exactly the same thing, except you change the sign. So let's say it's 3 over 1 minus root 2. I'm going to multiply it with 1 minus root 2. No. 1 plus root 2. Thank you, Asamashle. Lekker wakker. So at the top, we have 3 plus 3 root 2. And at the bottom, I have 1 minus 4. This one will be able to simplify further. Why am I saying that this one can simplify further? If I factorize the top part, as I get the most part of the teller to factorize it, what do I get out? A common factor of 3, no? So then the 3's can cancel out and you're left with minus 1, minus root 2. What did I tell you about this? You can do these things. Check yourself. No? As I will say, rationalize this number. Go and pick it in your sack and look at what the answer that you have got is the same as the one that is on your sack and look at. Okay. Now the last thing that I want to look at here is when you have both in the same question because that can also happen. So let's say we have 2 over root 2 plus the fraction 1 over 1 minus Let's say root 3. You can do two gedeeltes of the sum apart. Why is it allowed? Because you are multiplying them by 1. You are not changing anything. So the 1 for the first fraction doesn't look, have to look the same as the 1 for the second fraction. Does this make sense you guys? I'm going to multiply this by 1 and I'm going to multiply this by 1. But my 1 is going to look different for the two terms. Ne? So I can say, here so I can go with wortel 2 or wortel 2. And here I'm going to multiply by 1 plus root 3 over 1 plus root 3. I didn't do anything illegal. I didn't change any values. I just took the two different terms and times them by 1. But my 1, my 1, what I'm going to do is make it like for the two terms. And then you simplify and then you're done. Okay, so I'm quickly going to simplify this one. When you are studying these, make sure that you study um, especially these because they're the more difficult version of it. But here, here is all okay, so make it more. And the frog must have some all two in the end. Okay. As I saw, I combined the sales with three or four points. Okay. No, I won't remove it. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of work.